Today, we delve into the shadow realms of two of the world's most haunted roads, where the line between the living and the dead seems eerily thin. First, we'll journey along the A75 Kingmont Strait in Scotland, a highway shrouded in tales of spectral operations and phantom encounters that have puzzled and terrified travelers for decades. Then, we will shift gears and head over to the chilling stretches of Clinton Road in New Jersey, USA, a place notorious for its ghostly sightings, mysterious creatures, and the dark ritual hidden in its dense forests. So buckle up and brace yourself as we explore these haunted highways where every traveler's tale adds a chilling layer to their legendary status. In the deep shadows of Scotland's countryside, a stretch of road winds through Dumfries and Galway, known by locals and travelers alike as the A75, but more honestly referred to as the Ghost Road. Shrouded in mystery and clogged in the darkness of night, the road has borne witness to countless unexplained phenomena that have both intrigued and terrified those who dare traverse it. It was late one autumn night in 1962 when two brothers, Drake and Norman Ferguson, found themselves driving along the Kenmont Strait of the A75. The air was thick with fog and the moon hung low, casting an airy glow over the landscape. As they drove, the quiet of the night was oppressive, the only sound the steady hum of the car engine and the occasional rustle of wind through the trees. Without warning, the tranquility shattered. An apparition, an old woman, dressed in the ragged finery of Victorian times, appeared in the middle of the road. Her eyes were hollow, her hands outstretched as if pleading for help or perhaps warning them. Drake slammed on the brakes, heart pounding, but as quickly as she appeared, the figure dissolved into the mist. Breathing heavily, the brothers exchanged looks of disbelief. Before they could recover, the knight unleashed more of its hidden specters. A menagerie of phantom creatures darted across the road, wild cats with glowing eyes, large dogs that vanished without a trace, and even ghosts that seemed more bone than flesh. As they continued, a sudden chill swept through the car despite the heater running. Then, as if emerging from the depths of a nightmare, a large outdated furniture van materialized directly ahead. Drake swore, narrowly avoiding a collision. They looked back in terror, only to find nothing there. The road behind them was empty. The night was far from over. Figures appeared and disappeared, each encounter more terrifying than the last. Faces of men, women, and children, twisted in expressions of horror and despair, flashed before them, illuminated by the car's headlights. They seem to emerge from the very fabric of the night, each specter more tormented than the last. The journey became a gauntlet of horror, each mile delivering fresh terrors. It was as if the road itself was haunted not by one ghost, but by an entire realm of lost souls. Perhaps echoes of ancient battles or tragedies long forgotten by time, but remembered by the land. Finally, the brothers reached the end of the Kenmont Strait, the first scenes of dawn parting the dark. They drove on in silence, each lost in his thoughts. Their view of the world forever altered. What had they seen? Was this trick of the mind? Or had the veil between the living and the dead grown thin in the A75? The legend of the ghost road lives on, whispered in the tales of those brave enough to travel its length after dusk. They say if you drive the A75 at night, keep your wits about you. For the ghosts of Kenmont Strait might choose you to bear witness to their eternal torment. In the deep woods of West Milford, New Jersey, lies a road cloaked in shadows and whispered fears, known as Clinton Road. This desolate 10 mile stretch winds through an unyielding forest. Its history soaked in chilling tales and grim folklore. Who dare to traverse it by night speak of unsettling encounters and the unspeakable feeling of being washed from the darkness beyond the trees. The story begins with a simple, eerie game involving a bridge over the dark waters of Clinton Brook. They say if you stand on this bridge at midnight and toss a coin into the icy water below, it will be thrown back by the ghost of a boy who met his untimely end in those very depths. Many a traveler has tested this legend, only to flee in terror when a cold coin inexplicably clings at their feet in the pitch black of night. But the boy is not the only spirit haunting this road. Drivers report being followed by phantom vehicles, headlights appear suddenly in the rearview mirror, belonging to cars that seem from another time. 
Most often it's an old battered pickup truck that races up behind them, pressing close with menacing intent, only to vanishing as mysterious as it appeared when the road bends. Whispers of the echo also permeate the chilling air around Clinton Road. Hidden amongst the thick foliage are the remains of ancient structures, rumored to have been used for dark rituals and secret gatherings. Some locals speak of hooded figures seen in the dead of night, congregating by the ruins. Their chants carried across the wind. These sightings are dismissed by day, but feared by night. The road's notoriety grew even more sinister in the early 1980s when the body of a man was found discarded near the icy waters of a nearby reservoir, linked to Richard Kuklinski, the notorious hitman known as the Iceman. This grim discovery lent a gruesome truth to the tales of Clinton Road being a dumping ground for the bodies of the mob's unfortunate victims. But perhaps the most terrifying encounters are with the creatures that some claim are remnants from the defunct jungle habitat lurking in the woods. Sighting of unnatural large shadowy figures with glowing eyes have been reported. Creatures that move with unsettling speed and disappear without a trace. As you drive along Clinton Road, the darkness feels alive. Watching, waiting, each curve in the road threatens to reveal yet another horror. Each shadow could conceal a spectral watcher, and every stop might be your last. So if you ever find yourself on Clinton Road after sunset, be aware of whispers in the woods and keep your eyes on the road ahead, lest you discover what truly lurks on the most haunted road in America. I hope you've enjoyed this airy journey to the unknown. If these tales have sent a shiver down your spine, don't let the adventure end here. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and keep your headlights on because you never know what's around the next band. Thanks for watching, stay curious, stay vigilant, and above all, stay safe.